What I now want to do is show you an exciting new panel in Dreamweaver CC. The CSS Styles panel had not changed in a million versions of Dreamweaver, and that's about how long I've been using the product actually. So what they did with the Dreamweaver CC version is they created a new look to that CSS Styles panel because you really needed to know what you were doing. And I think the more you work with this new panel, the more excited you'll be about it because it's much more visual. Let me show you where it's located. So first of all, I'll double click to close my files panel. So if you have any other files or panels open, you can go ahead and close them. Now I mentioned files because of the files panel, but these panels do not activate unless we have a page open. So I'll go ahead and click the Create New HTML. If you happen to have a page open already, feel free to just leave that one open. I'm not going to do anything on that specific page. Now you can see the CSS Designer still had no content in it, so go ahead and click on it once more. And that particular tab will open. Now this Designer panel is actually four panels in one, so to speak. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Within this CSS Designer panel, if I click on Sources, you can see that Sources opens and closes similar to the regular panels. Same with At Media, Selectors, Properties, exact same thing. So you can see this is basically four panels in one. Now watch what happens if I make this right panel a little bit bigger what's going to happen is it will auto adjust and it's going to put the properties on the right hand side and actually subdivide so it's two vertical panels. And the properties tends to get really tall when you're working in content. So that is something that tends to go off by itself. Now, if you're thinking about setting up a panel, this panel in particular, a little bit different, notice just to the right of each of these panels is a little listing with a down arrow. And what that means is those are the options for that entire group of panels. So if I click on the CSS Designer, you can see I can get to the Help menu and I can close or close tab group. This is the only thing open on mine. So whether I choose one or the other, it won't make any difference. I won't go ahead and open that up or close it. But in between these two, I can adjust. Now, I think you'll find once we get working in the CSS styles that this panel is real interesting in the properties area. I didn't really want to overwhelm you here, but this left-hand side, what you basically can think of doing is start at the top and work your way down within this panel. So if I have this set up and made more narrow, what you'll do is choose the source for the CSS. As you're building your web pages, you're going to end up with multiple sources. And if I click the plus sign over here, you'll see what those source options are. So I can create a brand new file, attach an existing, or I can place my rules specifically within the page itself. And we'll look more at CSS moving forward. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of this panel before we actually start working in it. So I click on it and it opens and closes that specific area within the panel. And we'll be moving within these different options. But basically when you create a new CSS rule, think of starting at the top. The idea is I wanna create a new rule. Well, first of all, I have to define where to put the rule. Then I can define if I want to get real specific about the rule in terms of uh, different conditions based upon that rule. And then every rule has a selector you'll want to add to it and add some properties to it. So just start at the top and work your way down. If you have it as a wider panel, what you can do is simply start at the top, work your way down on the left, then you can move into the right area. And we'll be doing plenty of work within this exciting new CSS Designer panel. So you'll be able to see 
a few more options within the panel itself. But this panel can be accessed within the window area. Notice insert and properties are two important pieces. And the next important piece is this new CSS designer. So we'll take a look at the specifics within each one of these panels. Once we get adding CSS to our page, you'll get very familiar with how to work with them. But this CSS designer does tend to change as you move it around. So I just wanted to make you aware of that, just in case yours ends up looking a little bit different than mine when we go to work in CSS. But that's the exciting new CSS Designer panel, brand new to Dreamweaver CC.